this is Scott with Learn to Stop Hunger and today we're going to take a look at how to check if your computer is ready for an upgrade to Windows 7. I recently had somebody ask me, I've got Windows XP and the uh, support life for that operating system is going to run out soon. How can I tell if my computer is ready for an upgrade to Windows 7? Well, there's actually an easy way to do it using the Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor. What I recommend that you do is go to your favorite search engine and search for Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor. Once you've done that, um, you should see a download link here from Microsoft, Download Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor. So you want to go ahead and do that. And then once you get to this page, go ahead and click Download. It's going to ask you if you want to download some other things, but we don't need to do that for now. You just want to say, go ahead, go ahead and say no thanks and continue. and it's going to take a minute to download this thing. It's not too big of a download, 8 meg, so for most of you it shouldn't take too long. Now that you've got the Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor downloaded, you um, should be able to go ahead and launch the EXE that you've downloaded and it's a pretty typical Windows installer. You can just click through it step by step and there really aren't too much in the way of complicated questions to answer. Once you've installed that, you can go ahead and launch the Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor. Here in my case it actually added an icon on my desktop. So I'll go ahead and double click that. And on Vista it actually asks if you want to provide it with permission to run. You want to say continue if you're running Vista. Probably won't be prompted for that on Windows XP. And then the next thing you want to do is click start check. And this is going to run a check taking a look at all of your applications, looking at your drivers, looking at your hardware try to determine what is compatible and what's not compatible with Windows 7. It's going to take a few minutes to do this, so you may want to step away and take a coffee break, come back and check a little bit later. Actually, that was pretty quick. <laughs> it was a lot quicker than I expected on this computer. But anyway, as you can see, you're provided with this report here. If you scroll down, and see all the items that were found or not found. And uh, for items with a green check mark, you're pretty much good to go. And I see we've got a few informational items here saying that, for example, maybe there's a feature of Windows that is no longer available in Windows 7. Just purely informational there. Um, I've got an unknown item here as well. Next thing that I want to talk about here was this item with a question mark. This is a device um, that it's, it is actually unknown as to whether or not that, that is compatible with Windows 7, so some additional research would need to be done on your part to determine whether or not that's true. Um, if you have a brand name computer, I'd recommend that you go to that manufacturer's website and do some research on that. And then uh, we've got another item here where it says a free update is available. So that's not a big problem. Actually, on this computer, we really don't have any big problems. Um, when you run this, you may see that you've got some items that just flat out are not compatible. And you would see details over on this side. And you should see a little bit different of an icon if that is the case. Um, some other nice things about this utility are you can print out the results here to your printer or you can save a report if we click on that go ahead and say save report and we'll say desktop we'll say results here and click save and then 
I'm going to go ahead and close out here. We can take a look at our results. If I go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, it actually provides you with an HTML version of your results, which is really nice. So that's pretty much it. If you want to see if your computer is compatible for a Windows 7 upgrade, just download the Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor, run the report, you can save out a copy, and if you have an IT professional that you want to have review that, that uh, exported report is a real nice way to be able to share that with them. You could actually email it to them even. That'd be nice. So anyway, I hope you found this video to be helpful, and I hope that you have a smooth upgrade to Windows 7.